So, welcome to Naresh Technologies, this is Srinivas. So, in this session we will see, so what all the operations so we can perform on a circular queue. So, first I am writing a circular queue and I will perform all these operations on a queue, on a queue and this is a size. Suppose, a size we are taking 5, size is a 5, this is index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, now operations we are performing. So, what all the operations observe? First one is insert element, second one is how to delete element and finally, we will see a display. So, these two will write a parallelly. Initially, front and rear pointing to minus 1 and minus 1. Here it is whenever a front value and rear value equals to minus 1 and minus 1 that is representing a queue is empty, no elements in the list. So, that we are writing if front equals to minus 1 and rear equals to minus 1. So, that is printf circular queue is empty. So, reason if you want to perform any deletion operation if you want to perform any deletion operation, we need to check elements are present or not in the queue. If queue is empty, you cannot perform a deletion operation. So, that is why in case of deletion, we need to check queue is empty or not. So, that logic we have written here. And next one, suppose insertion. So, first element insertion, right. In case of insertion, we need to check queue is full or not. Sir, how can we check queue is full or not? So, that we do not know. So, that we will write if that logic we are writing later if q is full else if else if if q is a full you cannot perform right nothing but insertion operation right here if front equals to minus 1 rear equals to minus 1 means what a q is empty. So, nothing but we are inserting the first element if front equals to minus 1 and uh, rear equals to minus 1, then front equals to rear equals to 0. We can assign like this. So, then front is pointing to 0, rear is pointing to 0 and we can insert the elements with the help of rear only, with the help of rear, nothing but any element you pass. For example, here we are passing that element, that element will be stored into C q of rare. Sir, why is a rare variable you are using? Because we discussed very clearly, if you want to perform insertion operation, whenever we want to perform insertion operation, we must use a rare variable. That is what we called physically we are saying right nothing but theoretically we are saying right insertions with the help of rare or from the rare simple. So, we are storing that element. So, we are inserting that 10. Next if you want to insert one more here it is else if this logic we will write later and next else else. So, last case after insertion of a first element if you want to insert second element rare plus plus rare value 1 is a 20 nothing but rare plus plus and then into c q of rare c q of rare we are storing that element and next whenever we are storing one more element rare plus plus rare value 2 30 next rare value 3 40 rare value 4 is a 50 now full. So, whenever a size is a 5, rare is a 4 is nothing but if size equals to rare plus 1, if size equals to rare plus 1 is nothing but a q is a full. This is one thing. Here it is a printf c q circular q is full. And next we need to perform a deletion operation. Sir, how to perform a deletion operation? How to perform? So, that we will see. Here we are writing else if. So, conditions I will explain later. 
else if and next one else if and here it is else just like this just like insertion. So, initially if you want to delete that front element simply friend plus plus first we need to collect that element from that location how to collect simple suppose here it is in the last case that element c q of a friend friend value is a 0 na? that we are collecting into element that is deleted item and next simply friend plus plus initially friend value 0 c q of friend is nothing but 10 is a deleted item that we are printing directly in a printf you can write that logic and here it is next we are moving so friend value is a 1 nothing but it is deleted now friend is pointing to 1 in the next suppose they are deleting one more element same story else block execute and here it is how it executes 20 will be deleted and friend become 2 is deleted just consider now i want to insert one more element here size equals to rare plus 1 is condition false but sir here it is a size value is of 5 rare value is a rare equals to 4 plus 1 is it true na yes of course that's why we need to check with one more condition so what is that condition this one this one or Sir, what is that second one observe? Here it is a already that Q is a empty, some of the locations are empty. Now I want to insert one more element. So, what is that insertion of a next element into this location? Now front equals to minus 1, rare equals to minus 1, condition fail, it will be terminated. Rare plus plus means what? Rare value 4, 4 plus 1, 5. There is no fifth location, but here we need to write. Whenever a rare equals to a size minus 1 rare again starts with a 0 and that element will be stored into c q of rare will be stored into c q of rare now rare value 0 again rare value starts with a 0 and 60 storing here next we are inserting one more element so what is that element so what is that next element here it is front equals to minus 1 rare equals to minus 1 condition failed next rare equals to size minus 1 condition failed because rare value 0 last one rare plus plus rare value 1 i am inserting 70 again q is full na? so one more condition you have to check so what is that second condition to check q is a full or not here rare value 1 front value 2 nothing but Friend equals to friend equals to rare plus 1 this is another condition so to check right circular q is a full or not two conditions we need to check first condition is a size equals to rare plus 1 second one is a friend equals to rare plus 1 two things we need to check but among these two sir which condition we need to check which condition we need to check first means this one first and this one second right so first front equals to rare plus 1 if front equals to rare plus 1 or rare equals to size minus 1 if any condition is a satisfied is nothing but q is full because two situations will come so two logics you have to write so this is for insertion part and how to perform deletion already one part is over so like that we are deleting just consider so front value i am deleting 30 it will become 3 i am deleting 40 it will become 4 i am deleting 50 and next what we have to do what we have to do means whenever front equals to 4 after deletion again it should pointing to 0th location 0th location nothing but if front equals to size minus 1 size minus 1 is a 4 after deletion of element nothing but c q of front fourth element we are collecting into element we are deleting we are printing printf a deleted item is and then 
front again starts with what? 0 after deletion again front starts with a 0. 0. Now, observe very clearly rear is pointing to first location is pointing to first location front is pointing to 0th location 0th location. Now, only 2 elements are there 2 elements I want to delete this element this one C Q of a front and front plus plus I am deleting this one front plus plus front value become 1 front is also pointing to first location only. So, nothing but in a queue only one element is there whenever in a queue one element is there that is nothing but rare equals to front anywhere rare equals to front that is the last element you are deleting from the circular queue that is if front equals to rare that is we are deleting the last element from the queue front that we are deleting after deleting the last element then what we have to do again front equals to minus 1 rare equals to minus 1 because q is empty now here it is is nothing but front equals to rare equals to minus 1. So, this is how to perform insertion operations and deletion operations on a circular queue and how to display elements also two ways in a one way suppose if all elements are there if all elements nothing but a 10 20 30 40 50 if front equals to 0 rare equals to 4 in this situation we are printing in one way suppose we are performing two deletion operations nothing but front equals to q next we are performing two insertion operations like a 60 and 70 that that is nothing but a rare value is just consider here it is a rare value become 1 then in this situation right how to display all the elements means from 0 to rare for this one for loop we have to use and next one from front to rare this is another for loop we have to use first for loop is from 0 to rare this is one for loop and second one is for from front to front value is a 2 na? from front to front to 4 4 is nothing but a size minus 1 so this is another for loop using two for loops you have to display so that you can try based on insertion operation and deletion operation how to display elements also think two possibilities ok so these are operations how to perform operations on a circular circular queue ok so for more videos please subscribe to narishati channel thank you